With New York City Councilman Eric Ulrich's introduction of Bill 1682 Wednesday afternoon, the ongoing conversation over transparency and the city's network of so-called homeless hotels is once again back in the headlines. This bill would require uh, commercial hotel owners to disclose to their clients and potential clients when they are in fact in contract with Department of Homeless Services. A year and a half ago, PIX11 News exposed the New York City Department of Homeless Services growing reliance on commercial hotels to house the homeless. Working with PIX11's Mario Diaz, we discovered security lapses in so-called homeless hotels where we documented and reported on murders, assaults, and other arrestable offenses which occurred inside these facilities. You're from Germany. What city? Yes, uh, Cologne. Cologne. Are you aware that this hotel is also being used to house the homeless here in New York City? No, I was not. Yet regular paying guests, including tourists, routinely find themselves booking rooms without being notified the facility is part of the city's network of homeless hotels. Do you think the hotel should be notifying you and other guests that they're housing homeless here? I think so, yeah. I think that might be fair. So people have a choice. City Council Member Rosie Mendez represents the district where this German tourist's Manhattan Hotel is located and says homeless hotels have been instrumental in keeping families in their home communities. But she adds... And I think that's a balancing act, but I think um, people should know. There are several facts complicating this debate. First, New York City's homeless population has exploded with some 60,000 people living in the shelter system. Second, the city has a legal obligation to house the homeless. Third, Mayor Bill de Blasio is in the midst of a multi-year plan to create more affordable housing. That plan clearly is not meeting demand. So after downplaying its use of commercial hotels back in 2015, at the start of our investigation, no place to call home, the de Blasio administration eventually, a year later, seemed to reluctantly embrace what it could no longer deny, a full-on reliance on commercial hotels to house the homeless on taxpayers' dime. I want to thank uh, Mario Diaz and uh, Jay Dow from Channel 11 for exposing this problem about two years ago on PIX11 News. That was the impetus for the introduction of this bill. Councilman Ulrich says Mayor de Blasio should bolster that reliance with transparency. Just warehousing them into hotels and motels is not the answer because it really is not the most suitable and appropriate place for those homeless people, and it's really not fair to the people who are paying to stay there every night. So we pressed DHS and the mayor's office to directly address the issue of transparency for regular paying guests. Even though Councilman Ulrich's bill does not call for identifying homeless individuals, a DHS spokesman gave us this statement, quote, any disclosure of confidential client information, including addresses where homeless New Yorkers may be sheltered, is a violation of social services law that could put our clients at risk, including domestic violence survivors, as they work to stabilize their lives. While we are reviewing the legislation, we have significant concerns about the impact it could have on our homeless neighbors. It's easy to get hung up in this debate between privacy and transparency and lose sight of the fact that there are real people at the heart of this story. Real families, tourists who pay to stay at these hotels, and real homeless families who are placed there. And let's not forget that Councilman Ulrich's bill is just that, getting it passed. Finding the political will to make that happen in an election year could prove difficult.